Hello and welcome. This video is to demonstrate how to perform a disruptor upgrade on an access switch. Refer release notes and check upgrade metrics. Copy the image to boot flash and make sure if you have any intermediate release that is required first before upgrade, you have the target copy image as well as the intermediate image if your switch allows free flash space. Otherwise, you have to load it one by one. You need to perform pre-upgrade checks before you proceed with any kind of um, upgrade process, whether it is disruptive or non-disruptive. We need to use the command show install all impact NXOS boot flash and the image name, the impact of this new target image on the switch whether all the boot variables will be set correctly they will be verified the image type will be verified whether we are using the correct images whether the image that is uploaded is corrupted or not thirdly it is going to confirm whether the upgrade of the switch will also have bios version upgraded or not as you look at the screen, you will see that the switch is performing all the same upgrade uh, pre-checks and then it will confirm you whether you can proceed with this disruptive upgrade and what information of the switch will be updated when upgrade will happen. To proceed with the disruptive upgrade, you have to use the command install all NXOS boot flash followed by the image name. Once you enter this particular command, the switch will again perform a pre-upgrade check and then will ask you whether you would like to reload yes or no. Here you hit yes to proceed with the reload and installation of the image and then image installation will start, switch will set the boot variable and will reload the switch. Once the switch is reloaded, you can log in into the switch and confirm if the new updated software version is the target release that you have set. And you can also check the show module output to look into whether the diagnostic of the module is completed. Hopefully this is helpful. Thank you so much for watching.